Hi there Dreamweavers, I'm back with a, another video and yeah, do you like my top? It's old, if you're like a OG subscriber you'll remember this, just a t-shirt with a pentagon on it which I just felt the vibe for wearing and this necklace is a real old one, it's got a fairy on top with moonstone, it's like one of my favourite crystals and then just a little pentagram. So. Yeah, so I am always doing this. I'm always getting started and then I'm like, oh, sidetracked. But yeah, so this video I'm going to be doing or starting a new series, a Witchcraft 101 series. So I did something similar. I did like a Wicca 101 series. I thought I would do a Witchcraft one. And so if you see me looking down, that's because I have some handwritten handwritten pages and notes on my iPad. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first video in my new Witchcraft 101 series is going to be what is Wicca or something along that title. I haven't decided the title yet, but yeah. So for those of you that don't know, Wicca is a nature-based faith that comes under the pagan umbrella. So I like to think of it as paganism, uh, <laughs> paganism is the big umbrella term for all these sort of nature-based faiths and then you have different sort of spokes or branches coming off it with wicca being one of them and um, so generally for wicca sort of the moon and the earth are seen as the goddess and the sky and the sun are seen as the god well and the sort of the wild the wild sort of wild aspects of nature are seen as the god and Wicca usually sort of, Wicca tends to, although you get eclectic Wiccans and all different types of Wiccans, which is another subject entirely, they usually tend to work off the premise of sort of uh, harm none, do what ye will, to sort of quote the Wiccan read, which we'll get on to in a second. And also um, witchcraft, sort of Wicca, uh, paganism, sort of to go more broad, are the only sort of are the only spiritual practice that I know of that I can think of that honor and place above the male the female aspect of the divine and because of this sort of various uh, <laughs> I get so tongue tied I hate like trying to like look at my notes and speak at the same time it's really annoying but because of this sort of how the feminine aspect Aspect is revered so much um wicca does tend to sort of follow that feminine sort of uh, aspect and places a lot of um uh, sort of emphasis on sort of peace and compassion and love and happiness and uh, like wiccans and witches are seen as guardian are guardians of the earth as they are the children seen as the children of or feel that they are the children of the god and the goddess so now we'll touch a little bit on a little bit of the history of Wicca. So the term, the actual term Wicca originates from the word, uh, it's pronounced Witcher, but it looks like Wiki. It's W-I-C-C-E. And that is an, uh, that word or that term is of Anglo-Saxon origin. 
And in the 1950s, uh, Gerald Gardner, who was seen as the sort of founding father of a modern day wicker, um, he sort of, he revived sort of a, the old way, so to speak, and sort of gave a new spin on them. Obviously witchcraft had gone underground hundreds of years ago during the sort of witch trials and even even before that due to a sort of persecution and hysteria and with the um witchcraft act in england being repeal being repealed was uh i can't remember exactly what it was but it was in the late 50s i believe uh so for those who don't know before before it was repealed obviously it was illegal to practice openly practice witchcraft you could get jailed and probably lots of other even less pleasant things if found and tried uh had to like flick to the next page i was like damn it uh so as i sort of touched on before there are many different branches and different uh, branches and parts of the craft that fall under the paganism umbrella so the um some of the different types you're sort of looking at like gardarian wicker uh, alexandrian wicker like fairy wicker solitary wicker hereditary wicker so many so many many different different paths and traditions and yeah and also as well that's not just in wicca where there is so many different sort of uh traditions and paths such as dianic wicca for example um in broader sort of in uh witchcraft itself and um, there are very various different um different traditions which as the series progresses i will start to touch upon the uh the different paths in case you're interested in learning more for yourself and wanting to possibly pursue that tradition so if we take a very very brief look at the belief system behind uh wicca and there as i've said initially about the goddess and god they are the two primary deities in wicca and there are many subdivisions with lots of different archetypes that can be called in for whatever the situation needs so i know and i have done in the past as well a lot of uh wiccans will cast and um, when they cast spells and do rituals they will call on a specific deity for a specific um for whatever the intent of their spell is so if they were i don't know doing a spell for helping to uh, go on to a different career path or helping to find love they would potentially if they felt called to you um, uh, incorporate the deity that is associated with their intent into their spell or ritual and um, there are so many different uh, deities from different regions that are worshipped um like regions across the world so some of them so you're looking there uh, uh there are roman gods and goddesses that are still worshipped to this day uh ancient greek ones ancient egyptian ones you're looking at indian ones as just pretty much i imagine every region across the world there are gods and goddesses that are worshipped that we would potentially still incorporate into our daily practices and since i also taught well actually yeah oh i was gonna go back i was gonna go on to the wick and read but just side note just quickly on what i was saying about the uh deities and the different archetypes of the deities i personally like to obviously i have a dualistic um belief with regard to the goddess and god so i believe that there's a goddess and a god so hence the dualistic as opposed to the mono monotheistic which is sort of looking at 
sort of more your mainstream religions like Christianity, Judaism, uh, Islam, those sort of religions that believe that there's just one divine being, just a god. So I, so with the different archetypes, within say for the goddess, for example, say like I don't know, like Venus and Aphrodite and Gaia and. I can't even think of any more off the top of my head but I like to think of them as different facets of the same whole if that makes sense so the goddess is the deity is say for a diamond for example the goddess is the whole and then the diamond has different facets different faces so Venus is a face Aphrodite is a face uh, Gaia is a face if that makes any sense but that's how I personally um like to view it so moving on Wicca is all about in general is all about sort of acceptance and respect and I mentioned the Wiccan I mentioned the Wiccan read before the Wiccan read is a uh, passage that all witches try to live by it is in ye old English and it is a very long passage. I'm getting up just because I just saw uh, my mom went on holiday to Cornwall a couple of years ago and she actually uh, bought me this handcrafted piece of wood. I think I'm not sure what wood it might be cherry wood or something and this actually has the Wiccan reed inscribed on it. You probably can't you probably can't see it but like you probably can't read it I should imagine it's not picking up on camera but that is how how long it is so I will read the sort of um the sort of gist of it the lines the sort of short version that most people sort of incorporate in their book shadows or they sort of know and live by which is but bide by the Wiccan law ye must in perfect love and perfect trust eight words the Wiccan read fulfill in it harm none do what ye will what ye send forth comes back to thee so ever mind the law of three follow this with mind and heart merry ye meet and merry ye part so that in a nutshell just just means about in uh, in your life in general that you are free to to do what you want as long as it doesn't negatively impact someone else and so the Wiccan um the law of three which was mentioned in the Wiccan read is effectively what you put out into the world returns to you threefold so if you're if you're doing good and putting out good and positive vibes that will come back to you times three and the same if you are being uh negative and doing bad things it may not happen tomorrow may not happen in 10 years it's belief that it will have that sort of like a karmic comeuppance that will happen one day and you will feel the effects times three so honoring the god and goddess is what i wanted also to very briefly talk about um so as we have for well, as we as i have said and i'm sure uh you have a vague idea about how the how Wiccans on honor sort of the goddess and typically typically depicted for the god is the horned god so Wiccans tend to um work with um tend to honor sorry tend to honor the goddess and god by typically um embodying the essence of the deities so this is sort of typically done by incorporating different aspects of the god and goddess in your daily life which is obviously completely different to christianity for example who obviously they place a great emphasis on their sort of heaven and hell concept whereas in wicca sort of the um the physical and like physical world and sort of spiritual spiritual worlds sort of are one there's no separation or sin of the flesh if you're wanting to sort of um try and relate it back to christianity for example 
so I personally in my practice I um revere um like the goddess more sort of uh, obviously I do try to incorporate the god as well but I feel sort of more of a connection to the goddess and to the feminine um aspects of spirituality and I I thought I sort of feel like Mother Earth, like Gaia, is the, um, the goddess that I feel very close to, and I feel the see and feel the goddess in um, the moon as well. And uh, I remember when Harmony, my niece, when she was little, she's probably watching this. So hi, Harmony, if you're watching this, um, when she was little we used to i always used to talk to her like about mother mother nature and the moon and stuff and we used to call the moon mother moon and she always used to talk to mother moon at night time and with mother nature we always used to talk about mother nature like when we used to go out on walks and stuff and we always used to respect mother nature and it used to be so cute she used to see trash on the floor she always used to pick it up and like throw it like um throw it away and used to get really mad that people used to like not respect mother nature which i think is really cute so that ties nicely onto my final very brief topic of lessons from mother nature like um i mean life in general everyone's probably no one's life is perfect i'm sure everyone has gone through various sort of ups and downs in their life i mean life is like a roller coaster really like just sort of like you're sort of one minute you're sort of coasting along and then you have this massive high where i don't know something amazing that you were wanting or manifesting or not even expecting has happened and your life is like up here and then suddenly something happens something bad happens and your life goes back down and then you're sort of coasting along on the bottom and then you're picking yourself back up and going it's just life is just this sort of like this up and down like roller coaster um and as witches we understand the sort of ups and downs of life doesn't mean that we don't go through them or that sometimes we feel like we struggle and can't see the light at the end of the tunnel but we do know that the ups and downs are part of the fabric of life and we sort of um and we look to like uh gale mother earth and observe and we celebrate the changing of the seasons so and um, hence i have the wheel of the year and the eight sabbaths which i haven't covered in this but i will cover in a follow-on video to this uh what is wicca and um everything is about balance light and dark yin and yang is all two sides of the same coin so to speak and we also understand that obviously you can't have the light without the dark just like you can't have the good time you don't appreciate the good times without having gone through the bad times and both are equally as powerful and as important for you to understand life I, I guess um so and it's all about understanding your sort of energy and learning to understand your body and how how it all sort how it all sort of like just is just a part of part of you honoring and respecting yourself and your body and that's another sort of being happy that you're that you're you and unique and individual so now another very important essential sort of piece of the craft if you're going to be wandering down this path like nobody's perfect like i said like i really struggle of like accepting myself and like who i am i'm like 32 now and i'm still working on it but I do appreciate the importance of um, understanding that. So I hope you enjoyed this little, I was going to say little video. It's not really a little video. It's like coming on to nearly 20 minutes. I do find, I, I mean, most of my videos, I really do like to shoot from the hip. And some of them, so when I start to do some of the series, I do take notes and stuff. And sometimes, and I try not to, look at it too much but I find that if I don't I get 
confused and I was just like and I guess all like a jumbled mess and I was just like oh god like what's going on and yeah so I I apologize in advance if it seemed a bit disjointed but I was just trying to sort of give you like an overall a very very brief sort of introduction but I'm actually going to be tagging on another couple of videos to this what is wicker because there is a lot of things that I didn't didn't cover and didn't get to cover but so yeah look out for that soon that will be coming soon as well and yeah so I hope you enjoyed my video and if you have any comments please leave them below or contact me on any of my social media platforms which are in listed in the um description box also as well I love suggestions suggestions for any uh videos you have or um any questions or anything like that or just to connect and say hey i love like speaking to people that watch my videos like i think it's really awesome so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted